He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Shrugging is an international sign for, no, I don't know what's behind that here. You said your friends from Manana, is that the true? of Manana gets his attention. He smiles and delivers a whole slew of unfamiliar words and lively gestures. Then he falls silent again. Okay. The man says a couple of sentences in that strange language of his and then seems to wait for you to speak. I'm pretty sure he asked your question. He doesn't know your language. You can just say something cool in return. Horse need more vodka. Okay, so it's vodka that keeps the men happy and in good spirits. Clever move by the Union. Of course, vodka. Now that makes a very, very special borscht indeed. Turn it up and then ask for some yourself. Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea. Honestly, the place is a powder keg. Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea. I need to kick you. Shrug. The cook business. gives you a long, inspecting look, then shrugs too, and seems to wait for you to speak. Um, I don't think I need anything else. Volumetric shitty compressor. Bizarre scientific news from Rivershall West today where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law official. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. Okay, so volumetric shit compressor. It's just something I know now. Interesting. Okay then. Like photos of men in overalls tying up guns. Union placards. Didn't it say that this opened at four o'clock? In the afternoon? I thought that's where I said. The door is closed. This door can only be opened with a key or from there is no arm. You hear the shower being turned on. Still no answer. Still, the lieutenant gives you a quick glance. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. What the now? living shit. Your mesolimbic reward pathway does not mince words. It wants smokes. Right. Who knows what you are? A monster. A murderer. The gnome of Jeroma. You feel like a smoker. Especially when you look at that juicy, how very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. Strike right good. Right. They'll make you stronger and plus. I don't think smoker. they will make me stronger and better. That's not the way cigarettes work. Doop, 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 doop. Stands broke. The morning, the morning light hurts your eye. The fan is spinning. 
Kim also tries not. The man is where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. He nods. No problem, officer. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. <clears throat> Hmm. Maybe the union meeting came and went. Must be it. tracks are as they have ever been, a bit more worn perhaps. Fortunately, the street sweeper still has it. I'll find the next part of that then. I've already done this bit as well, haven't I? Investigating. A green door. Heard something about a green door, wasn't there? Oh, what am I saving? No. Do you want to go that way? A show. River, river show. I want to be. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. Ha ha ha. Again, the corpse laughs at you, pus dripping from its mouth. You will never be able to hold it in. Every time it happens, it gets worse and worse. There's nothing more to throw up now. Right, I'm going to do that again, because that was just a bad roll. And it did just sort of save on me. Load. Auto save. 12.06. Confirm. Wonder if that will give me exactly the same roll. I'm gonna try it. Let's go in for the punt. Straight up punt. Straight up punt. It's the dumbest thing that can happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the up. same roll. I need something to run into interference. Even though I got my shit to converse. I, I met a lot as well. I could swear your shit was together. It Sometimes even that is not enough. Like officer. You can open this white. Maybe it's okay if you don't. Dented yellow mailbox. Kid mailbox. The mail collection box has no faith in your psychopathic manipulations. 
with psychopathic manipulations. Let's go inside. We were in this one previously. But we've also been in it previously. We haven't been in it in this campaign. Late through though. The display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks featuring an extremely muscular, sword wielding barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles contain. Oh, man from Kjelmdal. A very popular. Blood and violence. Scantily clad women, epic narratives, all those mystical things he encounters, they're bound to grab those with little imagination and nothing to do. What does it matter? They're all the same. However, the customer is always right, they say. If you're a novice of the series, I'd recommend Kjelm Dalaman, the man from Kjelmdal. It's supposed to be a good introduction to the series. Rows and rows of Hyamdala men, maybe a hundred, not even close. Man from Hyamdal in hell. Man from Hyamdal and the forest of nothing of interest. Only silence and the cosmic background pain. Pain threshold to <laughs> read through the titles. Sports magazines. To wait in the corner. What you got going on? A small mountain of colourful board game box. Wonderful board games, sir. The Viticulturist is a classic for sure. Or perhaps you'd like Archipelago. Browbritter is a fun game of economic competition that can get quite intense after a while. We have games. Friends are technically like family. Friends with for playing with friends, I'd recommend Suzerainity. It's a civilization building game where you build a civilization, then set off to brutally colonize and repress other civilizations. It'll cost 12 real. An endless variety of source books, lore books, and codices litter the table. The topmost book is titled, There's also a large hardbound tome with intricate cover art, The Hunters of Catawack, Boreal Creature Compendium, and a pick your path adventure game books in a board game section. Who wants to read books? There's a box that says we're out third edition mega setting supplements module. The side panel notes a fantastic adventure board game. New maps. That price is steep. But then it's the third edition mega setting supplement. So it makes sense. What are all these viral things? Auras there. No, role-playing games are popular among those types. You know, if you're into those kind of things. Personally, I don't like it. Not I've heard they turn people into occult enthusiasts. That they have rituals where they try to summon entities. Highly immoral stuff. You can still buy them, though. You can still buy them, though. Marvellous. Highly immoral, but, you know. I'm going to search behind your curtain. A set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Nothing. Now please go back to browsing the book. Don't you feel compelled to look at the book? It's a book for all you care about. She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell. Oddly enough. The more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. You see some kind of charm, an irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, sticks, and straw. Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. This is a traditional Seminese ward, meant to provide protection against ill luck, bad dreams, curses, and other supernatural scourges. And who inhabitants is? of Il de Fantom, the Seminine Islands down south. Aside from poking at it suspiciously, 
There is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The curtains remain shut for you. Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. Her hand is close around her pendant. Her fingers nervously playing with the curtains. speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held responsible for the consequences. It's too dangerous. She looks away, mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? About the curse. That's why you're afraid. This is different. I'm a police officer. I need to get in there. But I sense this place schooling for me. I must inv investigate beyond the threshold. You can't stop me. I'll open them. All right. I think. Why? It's not like anyone was killed there. Hand flies over her mouth. Baffled by her own. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so impolite. Just please <coughs> go there. and unleash the powers. The curtains do seem frail suddenly, not robust enough to contain a slippery darkness. No, it's just a storeroom for the employees, I told you. Now please step away from the curtains. You do? My God, even more reasons not to mess with the curtains. Just step away, dear sir. I don't care, you can't stop me. Please just talk to me, officer. Come here and let me talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. Talking is always good. Don't the curtains, tattered with age and covered in dust, hang before you, as if taunting you. I'll talk to her quickly, but then I'm tearing them down. Welcome to Crime Romance. Be welcome. And please take responsibility for the energy you bring into this space. Sir, don't be ridiculous. I certainly will not give you money. Ah. I would be doing you a grave psychic disfavor. One has to earn one's success. Certainly there are good things to be said about dependence. I have forged ties between us working people who could practice for fighting our common enemy. A business relationship with that kickstart. Now, hey there. Sounds like someone isn't taking responsibility for the energy they bring into this space. Tribute? Power? These are not the traditions we're used to in this part of the world. I am the proudest owner of our little shop of culture. Where is that? I always Saint? told you, it's just a storage room for employees. Just let it go, officer. Go buy some goddamn books. You're supposed to be drawn to the books. It's just for decoration. Over's under your gaze, mouth pressed into a tight lip smile, then something okay, breaks. Fine. It's just because this place is cursed. Just like everyone said. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. Are you happy now, officer? Happy that you've ruined everything? This is her eyes and starts mumbling to the of post, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from the curse that lurks behind the curtains. The curse is so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease, eating at the very foundation. It's the curse yes. of financial distress, of ruin and bankruptcy. Everyone knows that all the previous companies in this building have sooner or later declared bankruptcy and their malicious spirits are still here, feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. There's something wrong with this building, I can tell you. Ever since I arrived, I've sensed an eerie lingering presence, as if I was unwanted here. Most certainly not. I don't want anyone who's not familiar with the psychic arts to get involved in this mess. <laughs>